This Mountain Yard is brought to you by Racing South Australia's Thorough Care Month, supporting thoroughbreds before, during and after their racing careers. OK, John, number one, Montine, is Maggie Collett for Stuart Padman. Winker's going on. Yeah, Montine hasn't worn any gear for uh, over two years, so interesting to see what the Winkers do. He did run well anyway last start on a very wet track. He's by Amby Dexter. They all generally handle it. What about the import Kingswood? It's had one run here in Australia for Matty Raymond. Just a fair run. That was over 1,400 metres at uh, Saturday grade in Melbourne on a rain-affected track. Uh, Probably got a little too far back there. Goes up 200 metres here. He won one race overseas. It was what on a track rated soft, so you'd suggest that a wet track wouldn't be a problem. He's second favourite with sports bet at $5.50. It's $1.60 for favourite child, horse three. She's taken all before her. Since coming to SA as quite a lowly rated horse, she's working through her, her grades quickly. Adept in all conditions. She's won on heavy. She's won on slow-rated tracks a couple of times. Her last two uh, wins have been outstanding. Two starts ago, she worked in the run and bolted in. Kiss the Bride turns up here as a rising nine-year-old. He's now with Justin Pickering. He's a $21 chance with Sportsbet. One run back from a spell was with Andrew Dale at Narandra, where he didn't figure. He's got some good form, but you're going back a couple of years to find it, and I'd suggest I'm happy to wait until he shows something. Our Monty Polciano gets Kayla Crowther back aboard today, who boasts a good record on this caliper. Kayla is a big plus for Monty Pulciano. Three wins, four seconds from 11 rides on the gelding. Uh, freshened up 42 days since running over slightly further. Coming back in trip is not too much of a concern and he's also got good wet track form. $21 chance with sports bet. What about the stable made a $16 chance? Number six, Shakespeare. Another horse who really appreciates rain affected going and this track is a, a, a worse rated track than the one he was able to win on at Gawler last start. They put the race on a little bit for him but so, uh, by the same token he ran well. The extra give in the ground is a plus for him. And then number seven Brave Star, third pick, $5.50 with Sportsbet. I think he's the main danger to the favourite. Another horse who the rain affected track will be in his favour. He's won three races on tracks rated heavy and the other two races that he's won have been on tracks with give in them. Last start he was fair behind Agrolette but held ground quite okay. The Stokes Yard have opted to put him up in trip. That's probably the only little query. Okay, but you did make Favourite Child the best on the program. John, they're just beginning to load. You're expecting her to continue on her winning way. I am. I think the map is good for her. It's only a small field now. She's drawn the outside gate seven of seven, but there's not too much other speed in the race. I wouldn't be surprised if she was able to cross them all and lead. If not, I think she'll sit outside the leader. She's got a great chance to control the race. Rochelle Milnes rides her very well and I think is a good engagement here. Comes in with 55 after the claim. Kingswood continues to be well backed and as a result they're letting you on favourite child to an extent. There's been a lot of money here for Kingswood. A horse we don't have much data on in Australia but uh, some uh, big money is coming in to suggest that Kingswood will run a much improved race today. As a result, Brave Star's been easy. All other runners have drifted. Yeah, $1.70 favourite child. $4.50 with Kingswood now with Sportsbet. We go to Brett as we approach start time. Race five. Precedes the first leg of the quaddy, and there's just one or two to load. Kiss the Bride to come forward for Siren Fork and Justin Pickering. Favourite child looking for five consecutive wins. She was certainly a little buzzy on the way to the gates, but she is the one to beat. Kingswood had late support and the light comes on. Set to go. Gates open, they're off and Brave Star jumped beautifully off the inside and is going to lead through the first couple of hundred metres but Favourite Child is pushing on and she's going to end up taking the lead here, the Favourite. So Favourite Child sweeps over to the rail and now leads the way. Moving into second, Kiss the Bride. Brave Star back to third. Kingswood settles down in fourth and then two lengths further back is Montine on the outside of Shakespeare and two away last of all is Monte Pulciano. So favourite child with the ears pricked is leading the race by a length over Kiss the Bride. A length and a half to Brave Star, a half away to Kingswood at the thousand. Two further back is Montine on the outside of Shakespeare. Two and a half last of all is Monte Pulciano. Favourite child, Rochelle Milne dying off a treble. Clark and an O'Shea are looking for a double and Favourite Child is eyeing off a picket fence. Leads the race by two lengths. Kiss the Brides under pressure. Brave Star sneaking through underneath. Kingswood is revved up. 
Five lengths away, Montine, Monte Pulciano and Shakespeare. Favourite child still travelling like a winner. Brave Star and Kingswood are sticking on. They're four lengths away in front of Kiss the Bride, Monte Pulciano, Montine and Shakespeare. Favourite child slipped into another gear. Two lengths on Brave Star. Kingswood, Monte Pulciano's building some revs down the middle, but it's favourite child two in front. Brave Star is game. Favourite child from Brave Star. Margin of length. Favourite child still in front. She is tiring. Brave Star's wearing her down. Brave Star over the top to win. Brave Star rolled favourite child in the last stride or two. Monte Pulciano took third, hitting the line powerfully. Fourth place went to Montine. Kingswood whacked away. That's about all he did, though. Kiss the bride. Shakespeare was towards the tail. Brave star, John Felder, was the danger to favourite child, and it's been able to wear down the favourite in the last couple of bounds. Lachlan Nindorf for Philip Stakes. Favourite child second. Monte Polciano was closing off late runs third. Montine fourth. Seven, three, five and one, John. That race changed complexion a lot in the last 200 metres. Uh, Favourite Child had raced a shade keenly but still had all the others behind her off the bit till well in the straight and looked the likely winner for a long time. Brave Star had had the cold sit behind her in a good run but he went under pressure a long way out. He's kept finding very strongly underneath uh, Lockie Nindorf for a strong win and Multi Pulciano has run well in third. Tommy Stokes joining us for a quick chat. Tommy, that's his fourth win since joining the stable. And, gee, he was game today. Yeah, I think the horse has gone really well. Um, it was a bit of a distance query today, but um, this prep, he seems to be settling quite well in his races, and it was a good decision to go to the mile. And a bit of rain this morning, nice heavy track for him, uh, really suited. So um, it, it mapped perfectly from one as well, so he had every chance. Uh, these colours, you've had some luck with them? Yeah, Regal Bloodstock team, been very fortunate to get a lot of their horses this year and, and we're working to build that relationship, we're getting plenty of results for them and uh, it's fantastic. So um, thanks to Mark and the team there and um, onwards and upwards for this horse. He stepped up in grade today and he was really good. Probably fitting that um, you combine with Lockie Nindorf for a win on the final Metropolitan meeting of the season after... The great Group 1 success you had uh, over the carnival. Yeah, that's right. It's been a fantastic season for the 